We now return to Hotel TV, the station that makes you feel like you're at a hotel when you're not at a hotel. Have a romantic drink by the Concourse Fountain, or you can watch the big game at Chopper's Bar and Grill, where they'll be pouring till 2 a.m. Or maybe you're in the mood for something a little more exotic. Try Jose Gato's Brazilian Steakhouse with rooftop views plus a fine selection of blended rum drinks. At the end of the night, you won't want to save one noche, and you won't have to, because Chopper's is open, where they're pouring till 2 a.m. Should we go to Chopper's? We interrupt this program to bring you a Channel 5 News special report. Good evening, Quahog. I'm Tom Tucker. Tragedy struck Haiti today as the island nation was rocked by a major earthquake, leaving thousands dead and injured. Coming up, local newsman shows a camera operator how to center a shot. There we go. There. There's Tom. There's the star. Oh, my God. That's terrible about Haiti. We got to do something to help. No, we don't. Relax. I'm sure Wyclef Jean has got it all under control. I've always talked about wanting to help in these situations, but I never follow through. Well, this time, I'm really going to do it. I'm going to start a blood drive. Good for you, Lois. You'll be a local hero, like Paul Revere. The British will be here soon. We shall stand our ground and fight them to the death. Yes, yes. Although, I mean, one of us should probably warn everyone, you know, that the British are coming. I mean, not me. I mean, I want to fight. I mean, oh, shoot, I've got the horse. I mean, but if anyone else wants to go... I'll go. No one? All right. I'll make sure everyone remembers your names. Wow, Lois, you really got a great turnout for the blood drive. Oh, yeah, the whole thing's going off without a hitch, except for that mosquito who keeps trying to sneak in. Hi, I'm the new nurse. Get out of here. This blood's not for you. Ah. Oh, look, an empty tire with some water in it. All right, I'm happy again. I'm going to go ahead and thank you for donating blood today. Donating? I thought we were getting paid. <laughs> Peter, everyone else here has donated except you. That's not true. That guy over there didn't donate. That's still you, Peter. Oh. Well, if I got to donate, he's got to donate too. You, get in here. Ha-ha, <laughs> sucker. Son of a bitch. Lewis! Lewis! Mommy! Stewie, what's going on? You should be asleep by now. I can't sleep, Brian. Where's the woman? I need her to read me a bedtime story. Well, she's busy with a blood drive. Maybe I can help. How about I read you this book? It's called Apathetic George. George used to be a curious monkey, but after a month in captivity, all he did was wait for food. The zoo people wanted him to mate, but he lost interest in that, too. Twenty years and millions of dollars in zoo revenue later, he died. Okay, I've had enough. All right, you know what? I know something that'll help you sleep. Wait here. Well, I hope so, because I've tried everything. Counting sheep, thinking sleepy thoughts. I even hired the Sandman. Sand and sand and sand and sand and sand and sand and good night! Okay, I'll give you a tiny bit of this. It should help you sleep. What is it? It's cough syrup. It's not really for kids, but a cap full is pretty harmless. Hmm. Oh, so this is what Lil Wayne keeps almost dying from. Oh, this is so relaxing. I could get used to this, like the way I got used to wearing European diapers. Don't mind me. I'm just grabbing a little cheese and vino. If anybody needs me, I'll be poolside next to my weirdly hot girlfriend with dark teeth. Well, Lois, I'm done giving blood. Just ask this guy. It's true, Lois. I sucked him dry. He gave a blood donation as well. Peter, knock it off. Just give some blood, get your cookie, and be done with it. Cookie? Yes, Peter. There are cookies for everyone who donates. Well, I already ate two wedding cakes, but I guess I could go for a cookie. All right, I'll do it. Uh, Peter, you're doing a good thing. Thanks, Lois. But you got to promise you'll warn me before they stick that needle in me. Actually, we just finished. What? That wasn't so bad. See, Peter, and now you can have a cookie. Oh, awesome. Mmm. Oh, oh, my God. These are delicious. What was you made these? Yeah, I found one of my grandmother's old recipes, so I thought I'd make a special batch for the blood drive. Well, I'm glad you did. These cookies are amazing. They're even tastier than Connie Britton's hair. Mmm. God, your hair is delicious. Who are you? I'm the guy who killed your bodyguard. <laughs> 